So uh, I was browsing cat videos like you do on a Monday. And then boom, graphing. And why it hasn't taken over the world yet. Well, almost out of obligation, I kind of have to watch that. Now, if you've been living under a rock, graphing's actually been around for a number of years. It's one of the greatest materials ever made. It's extremely lightweight. It's basically one atom layer of carbon, which is a fraction of a single nanometer thick. And it's 200 times stronger than steel. Naturally, I thought, well, somebody should make a freaking headphone with that. So I Googled it and they exist. Sort of. Uh, there was actually a successful Kickstarter campaign started in 2017, raising $700,000 from a $100,000 goal. But there are some serious concerns with this goal. Number one being that, you know, the, the estimated delivery date when you go to the Kickstarter campaign information was actually set for March of 2018. And so almost a year later, they still haven't delivered it. And so far, the best estimate that they have for mass production and delivery of these items that the Kickstarter was started for in 2017 is September, which is still almost half a year away, which is it's crazy. So they seem to be a closed back Bluetooth headphone. And I know, I know my audience is going to be rolling their eyes at that, but it's potentially, you know, just because something is on the consumer end doesn't necessarily guarantee that it's going to be bad. It also doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be good. So it really could go either way. They're using these graphene Q drivers. They're patented technology apparently. And they promise all sorts of amazing things on their Kickstarter, just like every other Kickstarter does. But if these things are even half as good as they're claiming them to be, they should be pretty amazing. But honestly, I can't help my spider sense kind of tingling a little bit for a couple of reasons. One, I don't know what the alternative to this is. So perhaps it's, you know, producing a problem that doesn't really exist, but their Kickstarter campaign pretty much follows the path of every Kickstarter campaign ever. And that includes the ones that are either failures or scams. Basically, it starts like this. So they introduce the product with whatever cool new technology they're using that makes it you know, a, a good reason as to why people should invest in that Kickstarter. Then they show you the recommendations from famous people if they have any, all the testimonials for it, and they really get you to have a good feeling about their product that it's one, a legitimate thing, and two, that it's so, so amazing. And then three, they're gonna show you some really impressive graphs, make sure they hammer in the gravity of exactly how much they know what they're talking about, despite being, you know, a year and a half late. Question number two, is the driver pure graphene or is it a mixture of graphene and another material? Um, I haven't really researched down into the rabbit hole of patents to find out exactly what their graphene Q driver structure actually is. If any of you know, I'd love to hear it in the comment section down below. Question number three is kind of an observation. So this is an expensive headphone, it's $660, but it's marketed towards the average general consumer. And you know it's marketed towards that because they made it closed back instead of open and they made it have Bluetooth instead of being hardwired. So it's not marketed as an audiophile headphone, but the price that it's coming in at is also significantly higher than any other closed back consumer grade headphone on the market. Beats, Sony, Bose, all those are cheaper. But then the people who are really gonna care about the extra sound quality, which they are also marketing, are gonna be the audiophile audience who are not gonna want a closed back Bluetooth headphone. So this is somewhere in between a high fidelity headphone and a consumer grade headphone. And I fear that it might not be able to satisfy either side and may be stuck somewhere in the middle. Now, just because it's closed back and Bluetooth does not mean it's going to suck, but it's really one of those things where more often than not, they don't compete with similarly priced open backs in terms of sound quality, but we'll have to wait and see for this specific example. Now, number four is really, I, I'm kind of curious if this is all just one giant scam. <laughs> all right, slow down, big guy. I should have been a little bit more explicit in explaining that I am concerned about any Kickstarter being a potential scam, especially if there have been massive year plus longer delays. That is not specific to Aura, but Aura does get kind of grouped into that for me personally. And of course, this is all just my opinion. Now, I don't really have any real proof of this or any reason to suspect this other than the massive, massive year plus long delays that they've experienced. And even with those delays, they still haven't started mass producing and distributing them to their paying customers. So those delays could be pushed back even further. Now, in fairness to the company Aura, they are updating their Twitter somewhat regularly and the Kickstarter somewhat regularly. Actually, the last update came, I think uh, last month, early last month. Um, so they are kind of keeping up with it. So that is good to see. And they're not just, you know, going black and then 
disappearing forever. But there are some legitimate reasons for me to be concerned about this product. I wanna talk a little bit about the future of graphene in speakers and headphones because even if this headphone bombs or sucks, graphene is still an extremely capable material. And if this company is capable of creating a good graphene headphone, then perfect. But even if they can't, there's a lot of other companies that might be able to do some wonderful things with that material. And despite being like the premier choice for a material to use for space elevators, uh, it could do some wonderful things down here on Earth for headphones and speakers. So right now, Aura is making what's called a dynamic driver, and it basically uses a voice coil to push kind of a cone, and they're trying to make the cone out of the graphene. That's kind of the general theory as to what they're chasing after. So there's a ton of possibilities for the future of speakers and headphones because of this material. It's just gonna come down to cost and the usefulness of production. Um, it may just be very difficult to produce for speakers and for headphones. And so we may see them coming down the line slowly, but we may not see this massive explosion like personally I would like to see. So I'm personally very excited for the bright future of headphones and speakers because of this, and you should be too. And if anybody watching is from Aura and you wanna send out a headphone for a review, get some eyeballs on it when it goes live, you know a guy. All right, thanks very much for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next video, peace.